Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano of Master Brokers. Welcome to our weekly update. It's been a lot of fun. I was just chatting with Andy and uh, who's been helping me do the videos. He does a wonderful job with uh, Milpitas.tv and uh, it's just been a real win-win uh, for my clients and, and myself to keep uh, a beat of what's going on in the Milpitas area market. You know, real estate is localized and it's uh, to have that knowledge uh, to apply to your clients and your client base is, is really important. So let's look at what's going on with the Milpitas uh, MLS, the Multiple Listing Service Update. There's 24 pending sales. Uh, not a lot, but that means that the inventory also is not very uh, large. It's very, very lean. We were talking this morning at the brokers meeting. There's only 10 listings today uh, in the whole city of Milpitas on MLS. So the good news is if you're a seller, you couldn't ask for a, a better perfect storm to be able to sell your home. Uh, two new listings came up this week, 992 Idaho Court, a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 1800 square feet, 4,000 square foot lot for 1,125,000. And then 574 Heath Street, that's in the Manor area, four bedroom, two bath, 1370 square feet, lot size 6,000 for 888 885 uh, 1690 Big Bend Drive, I report the good news. Uh, we actually had six offers on that house and it sold for $975,000. We're right in the process this week of finishing up some inspections and we did the appraisal and that should hopefully close in a couple weeks and the seller's very happy about that one. That, by the way, was not in the John Sinnott Elementary. It is in Parktown but it is in the uh, Rose School, which is uh, an inferior school, but certainly a wonderful school. All of our schools in Milpitas are award-winning and really, really great. And what I'm finding is buyers are coming in from Cupertino, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, Mountain View areas, uh, Los Gatos. They're finding Milpitas to be a very hidden secret with great schools and great location for transportation. So let's see what's coming up this weekend. Uh, Labor Day weekend, I'll be working um, July, um, July, what am I saying? September 2nd and September 3rd from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock at 1655 Crater Lake Avenue. It's a real darling three bedroom, two bath home in Parktown, of course, um, in the John Senate Elementary for $899,888. Um, visit my website, debbiegiordano.com, for the photos and see an online video tour of that property or come by the weekend. I'll, I'll see you there. All right, um, what's been new in the San Jose Mercury News? Uh, the housing crisis is worse than you think. That was reported out a few days ago in the San Jose Mercury News. Despite low mortgage interest rate, the cost of California homes is second only to Hawaii. Uh, that's in the United States. And the rates of home ownership are the lowest since World War II. You know, um, California is becoming a renter state where the balance of um, having more renters than owners is starting to come to fruition, and that's because of the, the high housing costs. Um, half the state's households struggle to afford the roofs over their heads. It's very, very sad. Um, we do have a great economy. Um, we know we're insulated here in the Silicon Valley. We have great um, resources here and great incomes and great employment levels, but uh, the cost of housing has just gone out of sight. So. Um, people ask me what what do I see in the future um, as long as the supply and demand cycle is still tight um, and I'll report out uh, this week's activity in the open house uh, with Crater Lake as long as that holds and we have that it, the housing uh, prices will continue to rise uh, nearly 70 percent of poor Californians see the majority of their paychecks go immediately to escalating rents um, there is a lot of rent control going on in San Jose, particularly, not here in Milpitas though, but in San Jose, they're looking at uh, adding duplexes to their rent control ordinance. Um, maybe in the future, they're soon in the near future, they're going to add single family homes to those rent control um, uh, ordinances. And um, I think we're gonna see that more addressed statewide in terms of rent control. Okay, current interest rates, 4% for 30 year fixed Conforming, 3.25 for a 15-year fixed conforming, 4.125 for a 30-year fixed jumbo, and 3.5% for a 15-year fixed jumbo. Again, at the marketing meeting this morning, we have a number of lenders that come to the meetings, and they talked about interest rates may start to tick down a little bit. I don't understand that, but 
um, I'll take their advice and so we'll watch and see what we're what we're doing in that uh, area and I'll report that in to you okay 2017's biggest decor trends uh, in the San Jose Mercury you know, a lot of people are staying in their homes uh, redecorating um, making them feel good right now moving to another location or another different home so decorating has become a big um, big thing in people's lives beige tones once were called boring this is now the color that's making its way back uh, tile kitchen islands are very much in demand um, and they're less costly uh, monochrome spaces that's using the same color like for trim and ceiling and furniture really creates a sleek look um, in the household. A hidden range hoods, building them behind a simple, clean, and modern chip rock case to give kitchens a more subdued style. Uh, the new modern is new original forms, architectural and clean shapes with refined and thoughtful details. Uh, new traditional fringe trim, ginger gar jars, and classic shapes are back with a twist. Um, Higgy Scandinavian Higgy movement. It creates a home filled with soft and textures and dim lighting. Um, and then handmade pottery is used a lot for decor. Um, you style that in groups and that's uh, book, uh, in bookcases, coffee tables, and console tables. And transparent furniture is making its way back. We use those in staging. Um, I know my stager likes to use um, colored glass tables and they blend well, especially in tiny rooms makes the room look larger. Um, and greenery um, is more useful. They're finding them in plants and hanging plants too. So that's kind of a tradition of the past that's being brought back. All right, um, I'll just let you know one event that's going on in the city of Milpitas. We have a number of events coming up at the next one is Saturday, October 7th. It's Oktoberfest. It's from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Civic Center parking lot. And then, um, to all the Milpitas residents and households, they're changing over to a new garbage service here. And the mailer's gone out, of, and the, that'll be effective um, December 1st. So what they're asking the households to do is to um, just mail in their cart selection on what size cart they need. So if you need any more information about the city, visit the website at www.cimilpitas.ca.gov. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.